Hi, Jamie Davis here in the Physio Control Podcast Studio at EMS World Expo 2013 in Las Vegas. And I'm really excited to kick off the expo with this upcoming interview here. Um, I have Brian Webster, the CEO of Physio Control, and uh, Rich Price, the president of Pulse Point Foundation. Got that right, didn't I? You did. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> I, you know, it, there's so much going on at these conferences that it's, it's uh, a lot of exciting news, but one of the most exciting things I heard about, and I'll start with you, Brian, is, is the partnership between Physio Control and the Pulse Point Foundation. You want to tell us a little bit about exactly what that means? Yeah, well, well first of all, uh, thanks for having me, and uh, it's great to see you, Jamie. Uh, we're really thrilled about uh, launching this partnership. I think um, Rich and I were talking, I think it was about uh, late last fall, uh, where we had heard about PulsePoint actually from some of our customers had said, hey, have you heard about this new app? It's really cool. Uh, you guys need to go talk to these guys. So we went down to, uh, uh, to Rich's place uh, down in California and um, he was nice enough to sort of host us for a day, show us around, uh, tell us about the application. And uh, boy, we, not only were we really impressed with the technology, and, and really the concept behind what they were trying to do of activating citizens into the cardiac arrest scenario, but, but we were really impressed with the people as well. So from that point, we, uh, we started talking and started uh, kicking around some what-if scenarios, and, and I think one of the things that uh, Richard indicated was, boy, they've got the thing off and, and they're starting to get some momentum and build some excitement, but now they really needed uh, you know, some, some help and bandwidth to be able to get it out there in a big way. And so, of course, with our, uh, you know, our footprint and our sales and marketing capability and our brand, we felt like maybe there's a great partnership here. So we're excited to now launch this to our uh, U.S. team this week. And uh, I know they're, they're thrilled to get out and start talking to all their customers about how they can work with the EMS systems uh, in their respective communities and activate uh, the citizens and get them a part of cardiac arrest because we all know uh, the earlier you can get hands on the chest, the, the higher the likelihood of success. So uh, we're thrilled with it and it's a, it's a great start to the week this week. And just to refresh everybody's memory, Rich, you and I have talked before, but uh, t what, the Pulse Point app, what exactly does it do? What's the goal of, this, of the Pulse Point Foundation? Well, the goal of the app is to get CPR started faster and more often um, by notifying citizens that a CPR needed event uh, is nearby. We take all these uh, citizens who are CPR trained, and instead of them having to be in the exact right place at the exact right time, they only have to be nearby, you know, about a quarter mile radius, like a high school running track kind of distance away. So that's the first thing it tries to do. And the other is uh, it lets people know where the nearby AEDs are uh, in context of where they are uh, at the time of the emergency. So we're trying to get CPR started more often, faster, and we're trying to get those AEDs out of the cabinets onto the patient's chest while the crews are making their way to the scene. And so the mobile app actually, the mobile app actually will uh, let people uh, know through a notification that there's an event going on on their phone and, t and give them directions to exactly where they need to go to, to get to it. Exactly. You think about what we do with firefighters or paramedics. We give them radios and they don't have to see the event. You know, if we only had paramedics who could deal with people who collapsed at Starbucks while they were getting a cup of coffee or driving back from an incident, they saw a fire, you think about how inefficient that, that would be. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we do with our citizens. They have to see it or uh, they, can't, uh, they can't perform. So we enable them through the app to be notified, just like we do our firefighters, if they're nearby and, uh, and they can act. So they download the app, opt in if they're CPR trained and they're willing to assist and then we dispatch them just like we do the firefighters and we do it simultaneously with the dispatch of local government resources. And it's really exciting to have an organization like Physio Controls get behind this and, and lend your prodigious forces, uh, the sales force you have out there that's, that's you know, talking to people about high quality CPR and how to use devices to get that done. And here's yet another tool they can add to somebody's toolkit to uh, get that bystander CPR started that much faster. Yeah, well, we're, we're excited uh, about that. Uh, certainly, the whole topic of CPR is big, a big one for physio control with our, you know, our uh, automated chest compression system, Lucas. Recently launched our True CPR uh, platform, which is another CPR uh, tool. And so it seemed very logical to get connected with uh, Rich's team on this. How do, we, how do we get the citizens activated? 
Uh, of course, we have a really strong AD franchise mm -hmm. as well. So this plays really nicely into being able to locate the ADs, get them deployed quickly. Uh, so uh, it seemed like a really a natural fit. And uh, you know, we we're interacting with EMS communities around the country all day, every day. So it's very logical for our folks to go in and start talking about this. And, and we know that the, our customers are going to be excited about it. Now, how many locations are you set up in right now? The we have almost 400 communities now, cities and communities, uh, primarily in the United States. We're a little bit uh, heavier on the West Coast, um, but we're in 14 states now. And we just, uh, we're learning that nobody's in a better position than the citizens who are nearby to, to make a difference. And I think uh, the, the word is out on that. And we have probably 200 agencies that are in the pipeline now working to, to come up. And I'm, as a CPR instructor, I'm excited about the opportunity to say to my students, download this app and be prepared. Because you can utilize this tool wherever you are, if you're traveling around the country, if you happen to be in a system that is utilizing it, they'll get an alert. That's right, people uh, need to know that, that uh, they, they sign up for it in San Ramon because that's where they live, but when they travel down here to the show in Las Vegas, uh, you know, it works here in Las Vegas. So that CPR capability is available system-wide. Great, great. So what's next, uh, this partnership moving forward? Uh, what are your next steps to get this kicked out? Well, I think the, uh, you know, we're just launching it to our team this week. Um, and I think uh, Rich is about to launch a new version of the app, uh, which uh, hopefully will be live here very shortly. Um, and then it's, uh, it's really going to be about getting out there in front of customers and, and talking to customers, certainly longer term, uh, after we get you know a lot of deployment of the application, uh, we have a lot of uh, plans to do more integration and, and continue to build on the capability of the application. Um, and uh, I think we've got a we've got a nice uh, you know long term plan for that as well. And where can people find out more about PulsePoint? Probably PulsePoint.org is the best place to start. Uh, they can follow us uh, at PulsePoint. Um, we uh, tweet the activations live at, at 1,000 lives a day, so you can see how often we're activating the app and how many people are being notified. Um, you know, we do activate the app as many as 10 times a day. We've activated uh, on 1,500 actual cardiac emergencies. Um, we've notified more than 5,000 people of cardiac arrest that are nearby. So we're gaining a lot of experience in the field. Excellent, excellent. Well, I want to thank you both for coming here and chatting with me about this. This is one of the most exciting things come out of this conference so far, and uh, I think it's appropriate that Physio Control is right there behind it. Um, thanks again for your support of our efforts here to get the word out about things like this. And, and uh, Rich, as always, it's a pleasure to chat with you thanks as well. Thanks for your time, Jamie. And we'll definitely, please keep in touch to let us know how this continues to move forward as, as we continue to see this program expand. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thanks, Jamie. And I want to thank all of you for checking this segment out. And remember, you can find more segments like this one over at mediccast.tv and over at the ProMed Network at promednetwork.com. I'm Jamie Davis, the PodMedic. We'll be back with more from EMS World Expo 2013, so stay tuned here for more.